how to add vectors when they're in polar form. All right, so now we're given two vectors, all right, and they look a little different because they have these degree symbols here. All right, so what we need to do is we need to convert them into component form. And after we do that, everything's really, really easy. Okay, so to do that, I go to my handy dandy scroll right here as a reminder, and it tells us, okay, to find the x value, okay, you take the magnitude of the vector and you multiply it times the cosine of the angle and then to get the y value you take the magnitude and you multiply it by the sine of the angle so here we go all right so I'm rewriting x1 and x2 here okay so I got the 23 here for the magnitude and the cosine 200 from here and so on so the x is 21 cosine 59 okay so I already calculated it here quickly All right cosine of 200 is negative 0 0.9 remember when you do this make sure that your calculator is in the proper form right so since these are in degrees I gotta make sure my calculator is in degrees form and I did that already okay same thing with here alright and then you multiply them and here we go so the x component of the first vector would be negative 21 and 6 tenths. The x component of the second vector would be 10 and 8 tenths, right? So we do the same thing with the y's, right? Okay. So here I switched up. Let's see if you're awake. Here's y2 over here. That's 21 sine 59, 23 sine 200. There we go, right? Here. Then I get my y2, y1, and then I. Now that I have them all here, I can add them up. Okay, so the x component would be this, right? Twenty negative twenty-one six tenths plus ten and eight tenths. Y component is negative seven and nine tenths plus eighteen. All right, so I add these guys up like this, and then I rewrite my final vector in component form. And don't forget these less than greater than signs or brackets or whatever your teacher wants you to call them. Okay, and that completes the problem.